Hello, my name's Dan Mosley. I'm the Dairy Specialist Perennia based in Nova Scotia. I want to talk to you for the next few minutes about rumen scoring of dairy cows. Firstly, I feel that rumen scoring is very important because it's very dynamic. It tells you how well that cow's been eating over the last six to eight hours. Body condition scoring, which some people will use, is a good tool as well, but it can take up to a month for a body condition score to change, whereas the rumen scoring tells us how well that cow's been eating much more quickly. So it's a, for that reason, it's a good for dairy producers to use. They can react to that. If they know how to score cows, they see a cow that's not in an ideal rumen condition score, what can they do about it? So we're, we're gonna go through some scores now. The scores will range from one to five. One is a very hollow, cow and five is a very pronounced rumen, very full and always look on the left hand side and we'll go and look through and score some cows now to show you how that's done. This girl is a very good example of a rumen score one. Quite a fold of skin coming in from these transverse processes here. Wide void here, the skin's folding right in from this hind rib not a lot of resistance here. Put your hand on there and it's quite soft, not a good firm rumen mat as we'd like to see. Uh, and a cow would never really, you'd never really want to see her here at a rumen score of one. Rumen score of two within the first week having carved, but not really uh, at a rumen score of one. So when we see a cow with a rumen score of one, there's a few questions we need to ask. Is it just her that has a problem? Are there a few cows in the herd that has that problem? And if it's just her, or well why? We know from speaking with the owner that this cow doesn't have sore feet. So a cow that doesn't want to travel so much, she doesn't want to come to the feed bunk there and she won't eat, she won't come and eat. She's standing with this back left, see how she's dancing on that a little bit. So uh, something in there that needs to be checked as to why she's not coming and eating so well. So a good reason why she could be at this room and score one. Other things that you'd want to look at where cows are not where you'd want to be if it's more of a herd problem. Perhaps there's not enough feed in front of them, it's unpalatable feed, perhaps there's um, uh, not enough room at the feed face, she can't get to come and eat, more submissive cows, cows that do have problems with their feet will not want to come and challenge other cows for a competition at the feed face. But certainly with this one you can see we've been standing here for a few seconds now but she's very much favouring this leg, a good reason why she could be at a room and score one. So this cow is an ideal uh, example of a rumen score two. There is still, there is some skin fold coming in from these transverse processes here. It's not straight down as we'd like to see for a rumen score of three. Also from this hind rib here, the skin folds in as well. We do still have a nice tight line here, the skin coming from the hip here down through it. It's not straight down as you'd see with a, with a one. We're coming in here, but there is some good, if you get your hand on here, some good resistance, there's a good mat of forage in there. So but because of this, skin coming in, she's a room and score two. So this cow is an ideal example of a room and score three, exactly where we want a milking cow to be. We, we can check to see that from these transverse processes here. The skin is coming vertically down for a three fingers worth there you can see and then it comes out there's very little if any indent from this hind rib here there's not much visibility of this skin coming through here but it is coming at this more of a 45 degree angle so room and score three where you can see the skin coming down vertically from these ribs transverse processes here and a nice solid room and mat there she's been eating very well so an ideal room and score three This cow is a great example of a rumen score four. Um, really what tells me that she's a rumen score four is this, there's not a lot here, not a lot of uh, definition really from this hind, from this back rib. The skin comes straight across here. Uh, very little if anything, there's probably only one or two fingers there and the rumen's coming out. It's very, very much more pronounced. So uh, a lot of forage in there, uh, a lot of fill. Now this girl, as you may see, I mean, she's not got much of an udder on her. I think she's due to go dry in about a week, so she doesn't get as much grain as the other cows. So 
Proportionately, her diet is much higher in forage, which is why you'd see a cow with a much higher rumen score. So cows that you would expect to see with a rumen score four or a five uh, would be dry cows, because again, they would be getting more forage relative to dry feed or grain in their diet. Um, so this is, and this is the reason why, again, so a very much fuller rumen here and little definition across here. So this girl is a rumen score four. Uh, if we were to see a rumen score five, there would be no definition here at all or across here. So this rumen would come straight across, be very much more pronounced. You wouldn't hardly able to be able to see these transverse processes. But again, uh, these the, the rumen score four or five was where you'd want to see a dry cow, not really a cow that's in lactation um, because her rumen outflow is a lot slower than her, uh, than, her, than her intake, so much more forage. So this one's a rumen score four, a five would be more pronounced than this. One good reason why cow's intake may not be very good, and you can see a rumen score of one or two, um, and if it's more of a herd problem than an individual problem is things such as this. I mean, this is more extreme, the mold in some silage out of the bunk there, that can be quite a, a big deterrent from uh, intakes. Uh, there's some more slimy silage on the top here as well, so not a very palatable thing. Cows wouldn't like to eat that too much. Um, another reason is grains. Grains, especially in hot weather, can sweat in the tanks and they can get uh, some different molds, uh, all kinds of different mold build up there as well, which can be, uh, be unpalatable and put cows off, uh, off eating.